Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're going to talk about PSO2, some troubleshooting, getting it launching, running. Uh, keep in mind, this is not going to fix everything. This will help some people out there. It will even give you some ideas of things to try out. If you have an issue, let us know. If you have a solution, let us know. Uh, we're here to help everyone. You know, I'm. you guys are helping me. I'm helping you. Uh, this video is like kind of a collaboration of the community. So we're using the comments quite a bit. Uh, just, you know, sort the top comments there. If somebody did help you in the comments or if it was a solution that did work for you, just make sure you upvote those comments. If you want to downvote my video, upvote them. That's fine. The video's not really meant for votes. I'm not, you know, doing this for my own, you know, benefit. Doing it for everyone. You know, it's a community effort. It just seems like a really good way for us to communicate and talk. So basically the issue going on Fantasy Star Online right now is that it uses the Microsoft Store, which is garbage. We all know that. There, there's no doubt in that. I'd rather have it on Steam or I'd rather have it on GOG, download an EXE and run it. You know, most MMOs, that's how they, they, they did them originally, right? You download it from their site. They use their own launcher. Perfect. You don't have to worry about it. Unfortunately, Fantasy Star Online 2 uses the Microsoft Store. And it's had a bloody insane amount of issues. The biggest issue that people are having is the version. So if we grab here the Microsoft Store and we, we just type in, you know, Fantasy... Did I spell it right? Can't even spell right now. <laughs> fantasy. Uh, there you go. It came up. Uh, fantasy Star. It says I own. But anyways, if you go to Fantasy Star Online here, normally you can type this in the store or there's a link as well. I'll put it in the description and I'll sticky it once again. Uh, you can go over here and you download it. And that should be it. But if it doesn't show it up or if it shows install my devices, for example, it's like for some reason it installs on some other computer, but it doesn't install on your computer then there's a, there's a reason for that. I'm going to explain that. And I already did this in the other video, but I'm just going to retouch on one of the biggest solutions. So uh, now it works on this one because since the other video, I've updated my OS. What you need to do is click system requirements or, or scroll down or click the tab up here. And it'll actually tell you you know, what version of Windows you have and what version you need. And some people are getting confused by this. And there's actually a really big reason for this is a stupid reason but windows 10 is they call it windows 10 still but they're actually planning to get rid of the versioning like of windows 10 and what's happening is let's just pretend like last uh last fall a, a big windows 10 update came out but pretend it's windows 11 not 10 and so this update came out. It's easy to update your computer. It's not a pain or whatever, but it requires a special update. It's not, you know, oh, just regular normal update that came out, blah, blah, blah. Instead, it required a, a more special specific installation, and a lot of people didn't get this. So there will be an update button here, and it'll tell you how to get it, and then you update your Windows. Once that happens, you reboot, and you go back into Windows, and it should work. If it doesn't, double check the requirements here. You might also have to do an actual regular update update once you've done the installation. So sometimes when you do a big update, there's a few things that and then it says, oh, this is outdated. This is outdated because it wasn't, you know, something considered outdated on the other version. So anyways, it, it was a quite a big Windows update that a lot of people needed. And then that got their installer working. Another issue some people had was they had to go over here and install another method. So you can go to the three dots and you can tell it to, um, you know, buy or basically uh, get get it. Uh, so maybe you didn't have the licensing to be able to download it. So that was another issue that was brought up in the comments. So that was another option as well. And then some people had issues actually playing it, which is actually not so hard. I mean, it was a bit confusing for some people, but all you have to do is go to the Microsoft store and hit play, or you can go up here and go to my library and then you can go again, it'll say all owned, or you can say all installed. And once again, you can go in here and you can hit play. Or what you can do is you go to your start menu and type in fantasy and you can also hit play there as well. So you can open it up. Now keep in mind when you do open it up, my computer is a 9900K, uh, 2080, etc, etc. When I launch this, this thing actually takes like a minute before it even shows an icon on the desktop. So for some reason, if it's taking a while to load, just keep in mind it, it's stupid, it's silly, but it actually takes a while for the launcher to pop up. I've never seen a launcher take so much effort just to load up or at least show up on the desktop. Uh, so keep that in mind, that might be also an issue. And uh, yeah, um, another thing is the developers are aware. So I checked their, um, you know, here and I couldn't find what I wanted, but then I noticed. So hi uh, there, 
We apologize for the negative experience you've had trying to download, blah, blah, blah. We've passed along all of your comments and error codes to the development team, and they are aware of these issues. Thank you for your patience, blah, blah, blah. So basically, they've been passing information to, obviously, the developer team. They've also have been working with Microsoft to apparently fix some of these errors because this is not just the developers of this game who are screwing this up. Obviously, a lot of this is also because of Windows. There's even, like... You know, read errors, permission errors, people's obviously their firewalls are acting up, their, their virus checkers. A lot of people don't use the Windows Defender, which I don't know why Windows Defender is installing Windows. Obviously, Windows, Microsoft bought them out a long time ago. It, it works really well. It's very competitive to the, uh, you know, top uh, virus checkers out there. And it's a little less bloatish. But anyways, people have their own virus checkers, things like that. Some of those have been getting in the way, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, hopefully you don't have that issue. But I'm just letting you know you might have that. You might have to, you know, you know turn it off temporarily. Just see that helps, et cetera. So this was the video we did this morning. It was early in the morning. It was like, I think I did it like 3 or 4 in the morning. Um, and then when I went to bed, a lot of people had issues. So I was trying to help people. So we, we got the a thread made here and um so if we check them I, this doesn't actually sort them to the top does it i thought i sorted to the top but maybe mine come up first you know this is 15 this is 19 how's that top stupid youtube uh but anyways uh i hate the windows store so much well that's not a solution but hell you're right about that uh so no win version issues for me so that person did have an issue they they clearly had the latest windows i had recently installed windows on my laptop that's why it had it on there uh, but obviously my desktop didn't. But when I downloaded the game, the launcher says, after completing, failed to download file. Unable to successfully update to the latest version. Please check to see if the file is read-only. So they had an issue here where their PSO2 file.exe was acting up here. And, you know, this could have been a, this could be a, um, uh, a firewall issue. Highly doubt it. More like an antivirus was acting up. It could have quarantined it. Uh, a read-only exe doesn't really exist, so you shouldn't have that issue. Um, this is also in the Windows app thing, so there could have been a permission issue. So you might have to load it up. Uh, it says, when I download the game, the launcher, it says after completing. Okay, so it says the launcher itself. So what you might have to do is launch it. So you, when you go Fantasy Star here, what you might have to do is run as admin. So right click run as admin might solve the read issues there. Basically admins have the permission to do anything at that point or should, right? Here's another person who has an issue. They have an 1813. Any solutions? If you need help with error 1813, I used advice from my Avery 3324 to fix the game. So uh yeah let's let's check that out so this was a solution over here that sounds like that might be a virus thing so i resolved the error using this method so access windows app folder windows 10 basically just downloading and launching the file from here so they you know that does not look safe ownership this sounds like an ownership issue so permission issues so how to access uh to windows apps folder in windows 10 so since Windows 10, Windows has grown a number of built-in automatically installed apps from every day, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, this is, uh, oh, it looks like it uses a registry file here. And it's kind of retaking ownership. It's probably redoing um, permission changes, things like that. So if that's something you would like to do or consider, that's up to you. Just be careful that obviously things like this could do some damage. It could also, you know, you have to be careful where you're getting the sources from. It could cause a virus, things like that. But it shouldn't have to do that. Obviously, once again, this is a Microsoft issue. This is not your issue. This should be fixed by Microsoft. Hopefully it is fixed by Microsoft. But obviously... We don't always want to wait for Microsoft. We waited, what, like seven, eight years for this game? We don't want to wait any longer. Um, to everyone that has an error after downloading it, click launch and it displays uh, an error. Make sure you are logged into the store on the top right, either your profile pic uh, if logged in or a plus icon that lets you log in. Okay, that's a good suggestion. So you guys out there who install Windows 10, you do a fresh install of Windows 10. Let's just say you did on your laptop, but you know where it says log in. So like use an email and the user, like email, usually it's email and password, right? So if you don't actually log into your computer with an email and password, or at least, you know, you use the email originally when you did it, you're probably not logged into the Microsoft store. So what you need to do is go to the Microsoft store and log in. 
So I have a profile here. Obviously, there's a login button probably here. Or you click your profile here and you'd log in and make sure you have a profile because what it is using is your Microsoft ID, the Microsoft Store, the Xbox, Atmos, you know, like the, it's the same one, right? Your Microsoft ID. And it uses that to log into Fantasy Store Online. It doesn't have a separate login system. So you're not going in the game and then making a new, you know, user and password and an email for that and stuff. You're actually using your credentials from the Microsoft store itself. So uh, there you go. So try logging in again and that worked. If Fantasy Star Online 2 is missing in your library, you can find it in the installed section instead. So there you go. So, and if you're having issues, oh, they have more here. Uh, hope this helps, blah, blah, blah. So that's cool. Uh, so for those who are having problems, even when you have tried previous steps and recommendations, what I did was purchase the game. So there you go from the link given instead of clicking the get. So, uh, get button. I selected the option of adding to cart and from the fall, uh, then I, the, ugh, from that, I followed the next steps till it gives you the option to open your Microsoft store. And I finally was able to begin the installation. I'm sorry if I'm explaining myself. Uh, my English is not good, blah, blah, blah. So that made that made sense. I think we talked about that anyways. The idea was, you know, you, you up here you click the three dots here. And if you didn't know in the game to begin with, there should be a purchase or add to cart or something like that. And the idea was you were able to do that and then you, you, you check out and then it has the license. So that's another issue. You know, you have to have the license on your computer for it to work because it's sort of like when you buy a game, you know, it's it's trying to, you know, confirm your identity. This also might have an issue if you're not logged into the store as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, the issue I was I didn't have enough uh, disk space. Uh, yeah, you need a lot of disk space in this game. Um, this game is only 11 gig download, but it was like downloading for hours. You need, I think, like around 70 or 80 gigs on your computer when it, because uh, basically what happens is you download 11 gigs and it's just like the base of the game. And then it uses their launcher, their patcher, and it runs, it ran for quite a while and it was using, oh yeah, it was running for hours. So I'm, I'm guessing it, it can use easily between 50 and 100 gigs of data. Uh, stored so you just want to make sure you install in a good uh, spot when you do install it if you have multiple drives it actually let me when the, when the installation button came up here it actually let me pick which uh, drive I wanted to install it on which I thought that was impressive I didn't think they would have that heck Steam didn't get that for a long time and Steam was you know the main installer for all games for years we had to use some weird uh, hack basically to fix that back in the day uh, so don't press the get button instead press the three dots same thing from this person too uh, wish this was a fix I can't download the latest version to update it always stops and gives an error saying try again uh, this is in the launcher by the way so yeah me too me too I got this too look in the comments comment and see if that helps so I fixed the issue by the following reddit guide here so somebody offered a reddit guide here so here we go. I've been having this, uh, I've been at this updating it, helping where I can, blah, 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 12 to 13. So getting the download here. So they're talking about different bugs here. So I'll go ahead and I'll link this up so you guys can see this. This looks like a good one. So I'll link this here. I'll have uh, my, my original video so you can check the comments. I'll have uh, a link to the download. Uh, to the Microsoft site, and then I'll have a link to this one too, because that looks like uh, some good information, uh, a good compile of data there. So anyways, hopefully some people out there can get this working. Another suggestion obviously was set it to North America. So in the store itself, I believe you can you can set your, oh, you know what it is? You go to settings on your computer, you go to your region settings, and some people were setting it to North America, then rebooting their computer, come back in the store. And some people were able to get it installed there as well. You shouldn't have to do that because if you go directly to the link I gave you, and then when it pops up, use the US store and then you should be able to do everything in the browser then it'll open up your store and it should work but uh, another another way around that but anyways I just wanted to make this video you know this is not going to help everyone might help some people obviously uh, I thought it was just uh, a great place to collab and socialize and hopefully get people up and running honestly I haven't even had a chance to play the game yet you know I just I've been seeing so many people frustrated and upset, so I've just been trying my best to help people out. Uh, I want people to get into this game and enjoy themselves. And, uh, yeah, so anyways, you guys have a wonderful day. Um, I'm going to do a Let's Play series soon, so please don't forget. You can subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff, and uh, hopefully you can get in the game and enjoy this game. And, 
like I said, I'm going to do a series on this. So if you want to follow, awesome. If not, that that's fine too. I hope you guys get in the game and enjoy it, and we'll see you later.